Ready. Ready, set. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back. Hiya. We're back with another video, our daily video. We're back with Dragon Maid episode 11. Yep, we're back with Dragon Maid episode 11. As per usual, guys, we're loving the show. It's so nice and humble and cute and adorable and all the things you could say positively about this show. It, it is it is one of those things. We're going to see what the gang is up to today. In case you are new to the channel, let me tell you who I am. My name is Rusty. And I'm Astronomy. And together, we make the most fearsome fighting duo the universe has ever seen. Yeah! Show me strength, baby. See? Don't mess with this, okay? Don't mess with this. You don't you don't want none of this astronomy, okay? Don't. You actually don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're loving the show, and we hope you're loving our reactions to the show. If you want to see our other reactions to this show, then check the link in the description to take you to the playlist for Dragon Maid. Go check it out. Cool. You got a few minutes. And as usual, if you like the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Yeah. On with the show? On with the show. Let's go, let's go. New Year's! I'm as close as I can be to you. Well, yeah, normally after Christmas, there's a new year. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Getting all the benefits Toru is. Big screen TV. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing this scarf that Kobayashi got her. Ah, yes. What is that? It's like the table with like the blanket over it. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I okay. think. <laughs> well, we'll find out more when the show starts after this intro. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> ah, it's work. Ah, child's been writing on my calendar. Winter comic head. Okay. They mentioned that in that other episode as well. Mm hmm. He asked him to help, but Toru was like, nah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you can say that again. Yeah, I was right. Okay. <laughs> it looks really nice. That is really nice. It's a good idea. I think it has like a warmer underneath, too. Yeah, you want to eat around the table? Want to stay warm whilst you do? Like how they have like just pictures of maids on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. <laughs> she certainly knows a lot about being a maid now. <laughs> she's getting lazy just because she's in this uh catastrophe. she's like warm <laughs> i just like how he's uh, like a completely different person at home it's quite funny <laughs> they just don't do anything or want to do anything just because they can stay warm it's kind of just like asleep with a pillow under there <laughs> Oh, it's, okay, it's the woman from upstairs, yeah. <laughs> Just the word pounded is throwing me off. <laughs> boop, boop. Yep, saw that coming. Oh, Mandarin, okay. Same thing, really. <laughs> oh. oh, Mandarin, okay. Same thing, really. Both enjoyable. <laughs> she really was a loner, wasn't she? Yeah. Just did her job, came home, and that was about it. <laughs> she, she's getting on with everyone really well. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. No. Oh, it's all pastel as well. It's like 
He's really cute. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> She's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing the warmth. Oh, Jesus. How convenient they all meet up in the same spot. <laughs> same exact shrine. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so nervous. <laughs> Why does he persist in having her around? Or I'm sure he's he's got the ability to just get rid of her. He's been trying to. Yeah. He's like, oh, leave, leave me alone, and then she just stays. I guess, I guess that's part of the anime trope. Is like, ah, oh, I don't like you, go away. But like, they don't ever go away. <laughs> Tell your dad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 Oh god, that's that's a harsh one, that is. <laughs> Who would write that? Ah, it's, it's not a normal way to celebrate the New Year's. Just is it? Maybe in Japan it is. Probably there, yeah. Two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and the sleepover. Adorable. Reminds me of my time growing up and doing the sleepover thing. Just play video games all night, pretty much. <laughs> I'll tell you a story after this as well. About one time. Okay. <laughs> it just looks rancid. <laughs> <laughs> He likes it too. <laughs> <laughs> he just don't quit. <laughs> hmm, that's a good uh it's a good tradition. I like that one. I'm not getting up though. No. <laughs> <laughs> just record it for me, okay. What? <laughs> not getting up either. Can't throw like me. Damn. I guess most people are like oh that. My God. Oh, Jesus. I guess most people are like that. You'll try absolutely everything first to see if you can do something without moving. Especially, obviously, when you're lazy. He's like... Uh, 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 and then get a stick to move it. Can't do that. I guess I'll get up then. That better not be work. I just said mom. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, I missed that completely. <laughs> nice to hear from you, mom. Give everyone my regards. It's not really how you talk to family, is it? We already got the impression that the family's a little bit off. <laughs> But you don't say. Give give my family some regards. You say something a bit more personal, don't you? That's more professional thing to say. Just say. Tell her when I say hi. Yeah, well that's fine. That's that's fine. But regards just seems more in a professional, formal. Yeah, more formal, more professional setting. <laughs> Tell dad I said what's up. <laughs> I really want to know their backstory and we never get it. I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm sure we will, but it's 
been a few episodes. Eleven to be precise. Good first stream. It's not as... Yeah, it's not as... <laughs> All right, I was going to say he's used to it now, but no. <laughs> he, he's adapted, no. <laughs> but no. He's still trauma traumatized. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, let's dance. <laughs> it's not going to be in the, <laughs> the music's not going to be in the episode anyway. Okay, so that was uh, Dragon Maid episode 11. What did you think of it? It was cute. It was like lots more wholesome. Oh, yeah, seeing Kana and a little kimono is just so cute. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cute. It was cool that they all like they all came together like this, it's like their their own family now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So they've come together. They've celebrated the new year. They said, well, they brought in the new year together. Then they had new year uh, food together. Um, had that like sleepover and whatnot as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like they've become their own family over time. Oh, yeah. well, over the course of the season. I don't know what... I didn't catch the title, but I don't know what it means anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was a good episode. Um, very, very sweet. And yeah. Bro was... Brought in the new year and their, their own traditions and how the, the Toro just wouldn't move away from the blanket. Yeah, it's really realistic because, like, when you think about it towards the end of the year, like, for New Year's, you get, like, you feel really lazy and tired from just all the stuff that you've done throughout yeah. the year. So, like, it's the excuse to, like, go into the new year and just, like, and be lazy about it because time, you get time off and all that stuff. So it's kind of, like, an actual portrayal of, like, how people spend New Year's. Yeah, first of the year, just spending it being lazy sounds like a good plan to me, to be, to be honest, because God knows how busy the rest of the year is going to be, mm -hmm. you know, for, for, for Kobayashi and for, I guess, most people. Right. So it's good just, like, right, we've got a, we've got a new year, it's gonna be a busy one. It's gonna be a crazy one for whatever reason. Let's just just have this day, just sleep through it all, mm -hmm. and be lazy. Pretty much. I mean, you can have that day any day, but you know, it's, it's good to just get yourself all just refreshed. A few days of just pure laziness. I think that was pretty accurate in portrayal. Yeah, <laughs> which is Sod's law as well. Just uh, Toru getting up from the uh, table to answer the door, and every time she goes back to get comfortable, it goes again. Yeah. It feels so much like real life that does. Yeah. Oh God sakes, let me let me sit down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was cute. It was a nice little. Kind of you get to see like Kobayashi, like really acknowledging that that's her family. Yeah. Like that she has family. She loves her family, and. You know, but, but the, based on her lifestyle now, you know, she's made a new family for herself. Yeah, I, 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 yes, like you said, like she's still in touch with her family and speaks to them from time to time. But I, by the looks of it, from the way she is and how she's used to the life she had before, the, you know, the dragons came into it. She's just very just closed off. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Alona, you know, just did her own thing, did, went to work, did the job came home and then just you know did whatever in mm -hmm. her own apartment and didn't really do anything until until these dragons came came back and and just because of the dragons as well she sent her like the first card in like however long to so celebrate her happy mom new says she's never sent one. Oh yeah so yeah never one i thought it was just like it's been a long time but yeah first time she sent a card back to the parents to say happy new year which she's never done mm -hmm. Um, doing all these activities now not only in this episode but going to the sports event um, celebrating New Year's doing all these other things doing the you know watching the play stuff like that so like even though these dragons are obviously not human they bring they're bringing out a more human they're bringing out the human in Kobayashi making her more sociable and making her more making her happier I guess you could say yeah and um, yeah. her company. it's good seeing that development across this mm -hmm. and that, that was an, I guess an epitome of all the work that's happened before it with the dragons and bringing her out of her shell even if it's not by purpose it's just like coincidental it's, it's doing it it's doing her wonders uh, that was episode 11 I think there's only three more episodes of the season I think I think it ends on episode 14 uh, yeah episode 11 so we got three more we'll wrap it up there shall we we shall 
guys, what did you think of this episode? What did you think of the relationship? How that's growing between the dragons and Kobayashi? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, if you like this reaction, then be sure to hit the like button. We muchly, muchly, greatly appreciate that. Uh, really helps us out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of Dragon Maid and any other videos that we do. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. 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 <laughs> Did I look at it? Get out of me. Gotcha. Give me a mean face. Mm. Mm.